YouTubers? Nah, let me stop. What's good, Backyard Barbecues and Barbecue X, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Um, today, I am doing a throwback video. One from, wow, probably at least four years old. Um, it's going to be baked beans, so stay tuned. Never mind the clarity. Just listen to the comment. Look at the uh, look in the uh, description below. I got the the recipe that I'm using minus two items, uh, and I explain why I don't put those in there. Uh, but make it your own, y'all. I hope you enjoy. It. Comment below. Nah, let me stop. Hey, what's up, backyard barbecues, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, getting it in, right? Um, today's cook. You know, I thought about it, and if you look at one of my very first videos, I did some some baked beans called po' man baked beans, right? That's for the po' people. Um, obviously, I grew up unfortunate, but I don't want to talk about all that. Uh, I'm truly blessed, and I'm in a better situation. Now, with that being said, I decided to actually give away 90% of my secret concoction. 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 Uh, for my baked beans, all right? Not gonna give you everything because I got one or two ingredients that I use in now uh, to make it my own. But uh, mix it how you like. I mean, that's what we do anyway, right? We take people recipe and we're like, oh, this is good. But if I do this, it'll taste even better. Make it your own. So I'm gonna give you mine. It's gonna be in the bottom of the description if you don't can't understand what I'm saying or if I'm speaking too fast from the south. Sorry. Um, and we're gonna go from there. Even the measurements. So if, when I'm talking. You don't understand the measurements, like I said, it'll all be at the bottom. Hooking you up for free. What better way to do it? So we're gonna go in this kitchen and uh get started, y'all. Bake beans the right way. Let's do this. Alright, ladies and gents, we are back. We're in the kitchen, and I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you, and then we'll go in discussion later on about how I mix it up and what I do prior to me putting it on the grill. Alright? So first off, we got uh well, hold on. So at the bottom of the description, I'm going to put everything down. So don't 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 feel like you need to write everything down. Just look at the bottom of the description. I put all of the ingredients and the amount of what I'm actually putting in there. So make it easy for you. But anyway, if you're listening, I'm going to use a tablespoon of olive oil, a pound of ground beef. I'm going to use an onion. Normally what I do is I will use a whole onion if I'm doing three cans of baked beans, but I'm doing two, so I'm going to do half an onion. I'm going to do half a... a a green pepper, yellow, and a red pepper, just half on one. I'm gonna use nature seasoning, tablespoon of that. If you see what the bottom looks like. I am gonna use a tablespoon of onion powder, a little cheap dollar stuff. I'm gonna use uh, some black pepper, tablespoon of it, half a tablespoon of this. I'm gonna use three tablespoons of yellow mustard. Let me turn that around for you. Yellow mustard, simple. I'm going to use some garlic powder. But what I'm using is garlic butter instead. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of that. You got honey. I'm gonna use honey. You can use molasses, you can use maple syrup, but either way, a fourth of a cup, not too much, fourth of a cup. I'm gonna use some sweet baby raised hickory and brown sugar. Let's see if you can get that. Yep. Uh, give me some. This is, I keep this in a plastic bag just to keep it sealed, but this is brown sugar. I'm going to use uh, a fourth of a cup of that. Normally I use three cans of beans, but I got two today, so that's why I'm breaking down my, uh, my vegetables and not putting as much in there. Uh, for this amount, you can use two-thirds of this pound of uh, uh, ground beef for that, for two cans, but I love ground beef in my beans, so I'm going to use the whole pack. The whole pack is pretty is decent enough for three, three cans of uh, bush baked beans, but normally... I use the vegetarian baked beans. They just taste a whole lot better. But like I said, hey man, I'm just going and getting what I got in my refrigerator. Because I'm dealing with it. But obviously I recommend, highly recommend using the uh, vegetarian baked beans. No, if you're a vegetarian, I mean, that's a win on you. But I highly encourage you to use the vegetarian baked beans just because it tastes better with the mixture. But I'm making this for the house, so I'm going to eat it. So in a nutshell, that's what we have. Uh, I'm going to show you. We're going to brown the ground beef. And mix some ingredients in there with it. And I'm going to go over that with you when I turn the stove on. We're going to do that portion. And uh, you can actually do this on the grill too. But I don't like to do that. this on the grill. This portion of it on the grill. Once it's all put together, then I'll put it on the grill. 
So I'll be back in the next segment. And then we're going to rock and roll. I'm going to show you how to mix up this ground beef and onions and all the other stuff. So be back in a minute. All right, so we got the stove on. Ready to rock and roll here. Um, simple. First thing we do, pour a little olive oil in there to coat the bottom. That's all you want, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. You know, stir it around real quick. And then uh, all I'm going to do is take my diced onions and, and pour them in there. Let that cook for like five minutes. I'm going to give you the whole description at the bottom, right? So just, you know, just bear with me as we go through this. So I'm going to let these uh, sit here for maybe uh, three to five minutes until they uh, get a little loose. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add uh, my ground beef and, and let it brown. Once that's done, I'm going to drain the, uh, the, the grease off of it, you know, from the ground beef. Drain the grease off of it. And then I'm going to come back. In a minute, I'm going to show you me adding the, uh, the spices, the uh, nature seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. And then mix it in the, uh, the bell peppers. And then sauteing it for a minute until it's good and mixed together. Turn the pan off, let it sit and, and simmer. And then I'm going to mix my, uh, my uh, baked beans into a pan, aluminum pan, with the ground beef stirred up real good. And then uh, you'll see the molasses, the, uh, the baked beans, the barbecue sauce, the molasses, and my honey, and the brown sugar, and the mustard in there all at one time. Uh, bonus. You love bacon? Take bacon. Fry it on your stove or whatever till it gets hard, you know, like the strips. Chop it up real fine and use that. Mix that in there, man. You talking about people going crazy? But anyway, let me get to it and I'll be right back, y'all. I've already mixed all the uh, vegetables and stuff in there, and now is when I turn my, my, my uh, skillet off, or turn the eye off, and here's when I mix the beans in, I'm going to go ahead and do that, remember this is two cups y'all, two cups, real quick, easy day, stir this in, Remember, I'm turning it off because I don't want the beans to cook just yet. All right, now as I'm mixing, what I'm going to do is come back with the brown sugar, the uh, mustard, the sweet baby rays. You can see all of that stuff in there. And all I'm going to do is stir it up for about two to three minutes. All right, what I want my, my brown sugar to uh, kind of melt as it's uh, sitting in the heat and then we're going to transfer it to a, a metal pan and throw it on the grill real simple y'all real simple but it is critical to follow the directions like to the T you uh, do one, one thing out of, out of uh, order and you may just mess up an uh, entire pan of uh, uh, baked beans so trust me this will be the meal that just try it you can break down the, uh, take the ingredients and divide it by uh, two and just make a small batch and just cook it for the house. Test it out. You will have people, like this would be like a meal. You may have chicken ribs and stuff like this. Like when I did it for the uh, 4th of July last year, like people were pissed off that I only did one tray of it. So lessons learned, you know, make sure I cook more. Um, but they would be asking, man, who made the beans? And you just sit back and laugh, you know, and say, <laughs> I'm the man with the plan. So it ain't just about barbecuing, man. You can barbecue anything. But this is how you do the beans. Remember I said, key ingredient, bacon. If you want to just really shell shock them. But some people don't eat uh, uh, pork. So, you know, you kind of have to split up your pans into maybe two different ones. One, one with the bacon in it, one without. But uh, either way, it works, works wonders. 
I'm gonna let this sit for about two to three minutes. Let that brown sugar caramelize in there. And then we're gonna go throw this on the grill, y'all. So I'll see y'all at the grill. All right, back y'all barbecues. We back, got the beans out here. Let me let you get a close up of that. Mm hmm See a lot of ground beef in that? Like I said, a lot of people don't like a lot of ground beef in there. But use your own thought process and how you like like your beans, man. If you, you, you like small amounts of ground beef, uh, do that. But I love ground beef, so. Uh, ooh, that's hot. You go ahead and stick my beans on here in an aluminum pan and let it go for what it know. Simple as that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these cook 30 minutes. I got my temp coming up to about 400 degrees. It's at about, the way it was, at like 240-something. So it's coming up to temp now. 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. I'm going to come stir it and then cook it for another 15 minutes um, at about 300, and then I'm done. So about 45 minutes on the grill. Um, if I was in my smoke, it would be cooking for 225 for like four hours or whatever. But anyway, I'll be back in 30 minutes see what it looked like and then uh stir it up and then we'll be done with this y'all all right y'all um there you have it uh pretty good video oldie but goodie from my old grill um making baked beans um that's basically how i make them essentially putting them on the grill but some of the prep work is done in the kitchen a majority of the prep work is done in the kitchen um uh, developing your skills using a knife cutting up you know the different vegetables um you see the three different types of uh the bell peppers that i was using Leave the green the orange the red and the actual yellow if you want to use that they all give it a different type of flavor you use vegetarian beans but anyway we can go on for, for days on that look in the description the entire recipe minus two items those are seasonings that i'm not giving out just because it makes it my own uh, feel free to uh, throw in anything you want. And I, I'll be honest, I'll tell you the kind of seasoning that you use. It's basically the seasoning like uh, Lowry's, if you're from the South and grew up on that. Seasonal, Nature's, uh, or, or Old, uh, what is it, Old Dash? Uh, Mrs. Dash, Mrs. Dash, the, uh, the, the sodium-free one. Um, if you got high blood pressure, stay on top of that. If you got high blood pressure, um, stay away from the, uh, the high sodium. Um, that'll, that'll get you in the hospital. But anyway, um, I love this barbecuing thing, man. I'm doing my thing, having fun doing it. Got plenty of time now. You ain't gotta worry about me deploying and disappearing no more. Um, I'm retired from one job, working another one. Um, but anyway, uh, stay tuned for future endeavors. And I got a plethora, plethora. I got about 10, 10 videos, probably a little more than that. I gotta check my laptop. Um, of oldie but goodies. I even got one from, oh my goodness, when my when my dog was living, uh, Chaco. I don't know if y'all remember him. Those who were here in the beginning remember my old, old Cocker Spaniel. I saw one of those on my, my Smoky Mountain Weber when I first got that years ago. Um, stay tuned, I might post it. That's a horrible video. Um, but anyway, it's your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Stay tuned. We got more videos coming out, more content. We got old content just for goodies. I don't know if I got one with Big Bertha, but stay tuned. You might just you might just see a, a old deal Big Bertha come out. Hell, I might even post another old clipping that I got just so y'all as a reminder. Um, and I may get one in the future. I want a patio model. So I've been working with Tyler to, uh, hey Tyler, hit me up, man. I need some updates on that. But anyway, I'm working on a patio model that I may get in the future. Um, just the wait time is just so long, man. And it costs us. Everything is more expensive now. So y'all feel my pain, Backyard Barbecues, uh, on spending that coinage. Um, so stay tuned, we'll see. If not, I might have to get a, it's crazy, a knockoff Big Bertha. But anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We'll, we'll be back. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for these next videos, y'all.